finished watching my first YouTube video about color grading. All I ever wanted was access to high quality LUTs that would make my footage look as good as what I was seeing other creators produce. Most importantly, I was really just trying to learn or figure out how to color grade in order to get the looks that those creators were creating. I wanted to figure out how to create all of that for myself. What I quickly learned is that for one, LUTs cost money and dealing with the fact that at the time I wanted a quality camera, there was no way I would spend the money I was saving up on a LUT, which was not smart, but it's my truth. And I would tell you why it was not smart by the end of this video. Secondly, all LUTs are not created equal, but most importantly, not all LUTs are created with your footage in mind, which is why you can use a LUT that would make your footage look like you're watching a VHS tape that has water damage. Thirdly, there is a learning curve when it comes to using LUTs. At the time, I wasn't ready to use LUTs, and it has taken nearly a year of trying to create my own LUTs for my own projects in order to gain insight on how and when to use LUTs, which I guess you can say made me ready to use LUTs. But let me tell you how I got to this point over the past year. Creating LUTs isn't as simple as I thought it would be. The process definitely takes thought, intention, and most expensively, time to make them, which are basically the three key ingredients that went into the creation of the F-Log Conversion LUT Pack that you can get for a small fee of feedback. Head down to the description and let me know what you think. Caveat, there's only about 10 of them. <laughs> So here's what I learned over the past year. To get to the point to where I wanted to create a specific love pack, I had to go out and capture footage at various exposures over a long period of time, play with the footage and figure out how to actually convert it in an efficient way that was quality enough be to basically work across all the different type of ways you expose footage or basically how I expose my footage. So to create this specific LUT pack, I went out and captured footage at various exposures in order to create a specific LUT based on seven different exposure levels, starting at middle exposure up to two stops over. I did this because firstly, everyone shoots differently. And what I mean is everyone shoots at different exposures. And based on that exposure, they didn't convert and grade their footage. Creating content is subjective and how you create isn't the same as the next person. For instance, you might like to shoot with diffusion filters, exposed to the right to save highlights or exposed to the left to save shadows, whatever the case may be. Each option greatly impacts your image and how your footage looks after the LUT is applied. But we will talk more about that at some point down the line in another video, not this one. Today, we're talking about exposures and what it has to do with creating this specific conversion LUT pack. I usually overexpose my footage, which means I expose to the right. I have a specific conversion workflow I use with each of the different camera systems I use, which is also based on whether I'm using DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro and using Color Finale Pro within Final Cut Pro. So three different workflows based on if I'm using two different programs. How I convert and grade in either of these programs are similar, but can be vastly different. Each workflow in its own right can definitely take an immense amount of time. So creating these LUT packs are basically to help cut down on the process because it does take a lot of time. Secondly, I've already created a few LUTs that you can find down in the description. However, while creating the previous LUTs, I did not take into account the different exposures. I only created them based on how the image or the footage I was using was exposed at that time. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but we've already established that LUTs can ruin your footage. And that is because standard conversion LUTs do not take into account how you expose your footage or even how you white balance your image. And here's my thought. The camera manufacturers have a standard way in which you should expose your footage to get the best quality and dynamic range out of your camera, but then what if that doesn't work for how you shoot? Remember, this is just an assumption, just my own thoughts, but 
Most LUT creators may take into account the manufacturer's standard protocol for exposing based on the cameras they are using and then creating their LUTs. Or they're like me, they create the LUTs based on how they expose the footage, which can be similar or vastly different than how you expose yours. So all of that to say, the LUTs may have been created around the exposure that works best for how the manufacturer recommends you expose your footage or how the LUTs manufacturer expose their footage and or both. At this point, I'm circling the drain. So let me reel it in just a little bit. There's some great conversion lists out there that were created by the camera manufacturers and some amazing creators out there that may have experienced the same struggles and frustrations we are experiencing now. And so throughout this past year, I wanted a set of LUTs that I could use for those days where I decided to expose two stops over and the days where I exposed one stop over. Basically, I want to access quick access to these LUTs so then I really don't have to go through and convert everything manually over and over and over again. So I created this set of LUTs based around how I typically expose the Fujifilm X-H1 using the F-Log profile. With this set of conversion LUTs, I took exposure into account and instead of creating one general LUT that may be perfect for how I shoot, I shot a few scenes with different exposure values in a dynamic setting and created a conversion LUT for each scenario at different exposures. I also set white balance to cloudy day as the day I cap captured it, it was, it was a cloudy day. But let's take a look. Let's start with scene one. Next is scene two. Now we're on scene three. And scene four. So now we have that established. The reason I say it was not smart to pass up on the paid LUTs is that the gear I was buying that I thought was going to help me but didn't, it just cost way more and time. I still learned what I needed to learn from using the free LUTs. You can find the link to download the LUTs down in the description. It won't cost you anything, just feedback for the first 10 downloads. So keep in mind that there are only a limited number of downloads available, so don't wait too long. I'm always happy to hear your feedback so do let me know what you think and if you're looking for the previous versions of the LUTs be sure to check out the playlist link right here thanks for liking and subscribing while staying awesome stay awesome <laughs>